The Flint, Michigan water crisis continues with no clear end or solution in sight. Yeah, the now's Lauren Wilson brings us an update now on how folks there in the city are holding up. Lauren. I met with a local pastor from Flint who's visiting Cleveland today. He tells me people are frustrated and they're fed up with the government, but they're doing the best they can with what they've got. No drinking, no bathing, no anything. Drinking out of the water fountain is something Pastor Jeffrey Hawkins hasn't been able to do for almost two years. I am grateful to be in Cleveland to be able to do that. It's still upsetting that I have to go somewhere to be able to do that. He's visiting Cleveland for a health conference to talk about the ongoing water crisis in Flint, Michigan, his hometown. This time in our life, which seems to be third world, uh, crisis yet right here in America. People are feeling frustrated, mad, bitter, uh, not trusting government, of course. His church is one of the main distribution facilities in the city for water, getting about 21 pallets of water every week from the food bank and other donations. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. But it's worth the work because it's helping people. Making national headlines earlier this year, Flint residents learned the state switched its water supply in 2014 from Lake Huron to the Flint River, which ended up being contaminated with high levels of lead, making it dangerous to drink. Lead is, uh, is a monumental issue, and it's too big a problem for any city to handle. Dr. Warney Reed is a national expert on lead poisoning from Virginia Tech. He tells me the water crisis and other lead problems problems in the country boil down to one main problem in public policy. This comes under what I call environmental racism. Not that I'm saying any individual is necessarily a racist. I'm saying their policies and practices are racist, and those are the kind that matter. Pastor Hawkins tells me that's exactly what folks in Flint are feeling. Flint is predominant African American. When the residents were saying something was wrong with the water, that it was not being heard. We, we, don't, we shouldn't have to take this, but we're resilient. Now, Pastor Hawkins told me depending on the severity, some folks are having to come a few times a week to get water for their family. So he says they're extremely grateful for all the donate donations that have been coming in and hopes that people will continue to support the city of Flint until the crisis is resolved. For the now, I'm Lauren Wilson.